How's it going, everybody? This is Trainer Caller, and it's time for another Nostalgia Wi-Fi Battle video. On this day, three years ago, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y were released. These were the first Pokemon titles to be featured on the Nintendo 3DS, and man, these are awesome games. It got a new region, new characters, new Pokemon, new mechanics, and a new metagame for Wi-Fi battling. So if you guys haven't seen my Black and White 2 Nostalgia Battle, I kind of said a little bit about X and Y and how it shifts towards a new, you know, system or a new spectrum. And this is what I'm talking about. You got some new Pokemon that you can choose from. You've got older Pokemon making huge uh, impact, whether it's Mega Evolutions, because we got, we got Mega Evolutions now. Older Pokemon getting Mega Evolutions, new abilities, new uh, stat raises. For example, Scalipede got a, an attack boost. I know a couple of Pokemon got a uh, defense boost. There are these small changes in Pokemon X and Y that kind of changes everything, along with those new Pokemon that were introduced. So, we will go over to the team preview screen here. And you see that my opponent is Flare or Ruins Way. I gotta say this, okay? Pokemon X and Y. I think this battle in particular is the most nostalgic out of the other uh, battles I've had, which were all nostalgic. See, I met my best friend in high school, and when we did that, he was a huge Pokemon trainer, or a huge Pokemon fan, rather, and we got to battle every day. Every day. Well, most of the days, but you guys know what I'm talking about. We would have lunch, have a battle, and we'll see who wins. And if there was a, a miscommunication, we have a battle later. And that's what I'm talking about. It's really nostalgic, because those were the good times. And that was, the, I think, the peak of Pokemon X and Y for me. Just meeting a best friend who enjoyed Wi-Fi battling the most. So for this nostalgia battle, this was actually the very last Wi-Fi battle Right before Oros came out, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. And, um, yeah, so to cap it all off, we decided to just have a battle with our favorites. So, you see, on my end, we have Samurott, we have Bisharp, we have Talonflame, our legendary uh, Zygarde, and we have Alakazam and Amoongus. I do not have a Mega on this team. Uh, I have a Focus Sash Alakazam instead of a Mega Alakazam. Uh, we got Samurai as a lead off. I have a Bisharp with a Swords Dance and Sucker Punch, which back then I recently trained it all up, so it's like relatively new to my team. And then Talonflame, you guys seen before. Zygarde was the typical Zygarde set, and then Amoongus is physically defensive. On my opponent's side, Ruizway loves Mega Houndoom. You see Mega Houndoom a lot in Sun teams, but it can actually function without the sun being up. But it's mostly in the sunlight because of its ability and solar power. But in this battle, we do not see that. He likes to use Diggersby. He likes to use uh, Sylveon. He also loves his Honchkrow. And um, those Pokemon there, Honchkrow and Sylveon and Dragonite, they swept my entire team at times. So, and I gotta tell you, this was a great battle. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. All right, here we go. All right, Runesway, if you're watching this right now, this is getting really intense. Do you remember those times? You tell me. Uh, so we're gonna start with Samurai here, and he's gonna start with Jirashi. And I knew right away that Jirashi 
was going to either paralyze me or go with Stealth Rock. I go with Abyss Sharp mainly because of the Kyping mashup, and plus I had a Lumberry to get rid of the paralysis from the key wave there as he goes for it, and we see the Lumberry activate. I go for Sword Stance. I wanted to use this Abyss Sharp as I was using this for the first time, I believe. This was two years ago, so don't, you know, go saying that I forgot about things and stuff and I got it all wrong. I could have switched out into Zygarde expecting that Thunder Wave, but yeah, we're trying to use Sucker Punch, but he predicts me to switch out. So, you know, that happens. I get paralyzed a few times, but it's not going to matter. I know that Mega Houndoom is going to attack me and just finish me off, but a plus two boosted Sucker Punch, even though it's resisted, it's going to do a lot of damage to Rossi, the Mega Houndoom. So while Bisharp goes down here, Perseus did a really good job in doing a lot of damage to the Mega. And I can just go into Zygarde and click Extreme Speed because I don't think I have anyone faster than Mega Houndoom at this point. Ruin's Way, I believe, predicts this and goes into Ellie, which is kind of, I don't know, I don't recall this being a risky move because I could have gone with an Outrage there, but then I would contend a Dark Pulse or a Flamethrower. I don't want to deal with that. And because I went for the Extreme Speed, we broke the Dragonite's Multiscale ability there, and um, we lose Zygarde in the process. So, and then I outspeed with Samurai, which I thought was interesting, because, you know, Zygarde is a legendary, and Samurai is base, what, 80 speed? I don't remember, just, yeah. He goes into Salvation, which, if that thing is nicknamed Salvation, it's going to do some major work. He goes for Moonblast, and I expected that, so I go into a Moongus, to resist it, and we do not get the special attack drop. Now this is the uh, um, the same Amoongus. I actually rebred it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So this thing is called uh, Pyramidia. That's why I nicknamed it. So yeah, we'll say that this is Pyramidia. Pyramidia is going to go with the spore we catch uh, Jirashi coming in which is fine by me. I'm going to go into Mustang, and you guys know Mustang has the Brave Bird, the Flare Blitz, the Roost, the ability Gale Wings, so I can outspeed everything if I go for a Brave Bird, or go for Roost, just like here. Um, which, I don't know why I went for Roost right there. I should have attacked him, because I wasn't really you know, suffering a lot of damage there, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to go with a Flare Blitz, and we don't take out Jirashi, which <laughs> kind of shows you how bulky Jirashi is when you invest it in defense and um, HP. So, we'll see what happens here. We're going to go for a Brave Bird, uh, just in case he wants to switch out and do something like his uh, Honk Crow or his uh, Diggers B. I don't know. I was thinking he might switch there and, uh, you know, use Jirashi as Death Fogger. And here is Diggers B, and I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird. I would speed it because of Gale Wings, and we just take a lot of damage, and uh, he's going to take me out with a takedown. So this will hopefully result in a double down, but no, it doesn't. It doesn't take that much recoil, but then we have the life orb, and that still doesn't. Ugh, that sucks. I was hoping for a double down, because that would have been super epic. You go with the TC100, the Samurai, and we get a critical hit Mega Horn there, which I don't know why I went for Mega Horn. I could have missed it. If I missed it there, then I would have lost to my Samurai. So, you know, you have those, you know, mistakes there. I'll, I'll say that I was in the sunlight during lunch, so it's kind of hard to see the screen at times, but that's a mistake. 
Another mistake that we see is among this going down to the Brave Bird. And um, I was thinking about it right before I started recording. It wasn't actually a mistake. I actually did that so I can have Hog's Crow take a lot of HP from the recoil, from the Brave Bird, and um, go into Alakazam, who has a Focus Sash, so I can definitely take a hit. And then he has all that damage taken, go for a Focus Blast, and we'll kick him out. That was literally the only way to take out Janelle, the Hog's Crow there. Which was kind of entertaining, if you ask me, but... Um, Here's Sylveon, and um, we all know that Sylveon has fantastic special defense, and we see that in action, because Psychic, it was a critical hit. So, you know, that's just how bulky Sylveon is. And he's probably max HP, max special defense. We go with a Surf, and that does not quite... Cut it. This is my last Pokemon. We survive with 1 HP and then the special attack drop. So, we lose this battle and we almost take out Sylveon. That was his last Pokemon too. So that's why it was so epic back then because it was coming down to the wire and you just come real short there. But that was a great battle and that was how we ended X and Y going to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Man, dude, that was a great battle. So thank you very much, Runesway, for that battle. Even though this was two years old, I just didn't post it for some reason. And I thought this would be a great nostalgia battle. And uh, hopefully we get some more battles in when Sun and Moon come out. So fun times abound. If you guys enjoyed this awesome match, Definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and I will not have an outro for these nostalgia battles, but that's fine. Just go on ahead and comment down below, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi battle video. Have a great day, everyone. See ya.